Hello world and welcome to another episode of Full Bar. In today's video I want to show you how to create a client application, a web app using Cognito and authentication. I have made the first part creating the backend, you can see the link in the card and today we are moving on to making the web part. If you are interested in watching more content like from serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices, just subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started. <laughs> In the previous video we have created a whole infrastructure as code, Cognito user pool, Cognito identity pool, a Cognito application. We have created also the API, secure API, and now we need to create the front end for this. So we are creating a client application using React and we are going to connect this application to our backend. So we are going to log in and sign in using this application. This is a note that the idea of this video is not to show you how to create the web app because I usually make these videos around 10 minutes so if I start how to create a web app we will be like here for two hours so I will not show how to do that I will link the application completed in the comments box below so you can go and check what was done in every bit and for make things easier for you I inspired this in a tutorial that is available on the internet so I will also link that in the description box below so you can see all the details of this, um, how to create this thing. But I will not focus about that in this video. To get started, we are going to set up the AWS SDK called Amplify. That's a JavaScript library that we can uh, put in our project and then we can do things like authentication, using storage, using Dynamo, using all kind of things. So we are going to use that and we are going to configure it and we are going to then create a user in our user pool. And then we are going to create a login page where we can log in with that user and then we are going to create a sign up page where we can create new users and then we are going to call this API that we created in the previous video. So there's a lot of things to cover. I will not go into more theoretical things today because I don't think this video is about that. I will show you how to use the Amplify SDK and how to call the endpoint. So before starting with the code, one important thing is I have created this basic app that going, I'm going to start from there. So go to the GitHub repo. I will link in the description box the link for that GitHub repo and I will start from there. And then you can move forward with me. So let's go to the code. First thing we are going to do is to set up the web app. As I said, I have created this basic React app that I'm going to get started with. I will clone it from GitHub into my computer. You can do the same. The link is in the description box, so you can find it there. I just clone it with a different name. I put like web client cognito. And from there we will get started. So I will just open that with Atom. Now I will configure the Amplify SDK, that is the AWS SDK. I will just install it in that project that I just cloned from GitHub. It takes a while, so I will speed this up. And don't forget that you need to have deployed the previous video in order to do this. So if you have not done it, go ahead and do an ls deploy in the backend so you can configure your amplifier because for doing this you will need to have the user pool, the identity pool and the endpoints. I have done it already so I will assume that you have done it. If you don't know what I'm talking about just go to the previous video of this series making the backend. The link is in the description box of this video. So now I will create a new file called config and there I will put all the configuration for my backend. I need to put configuration about the API gateway and the Cognito and this is what Amplify will use. So I will go to my AWS account where I'm logging already, go to API Gateway, find the endpoint that we just created, go to stages, and there I can find the URL. So I can copy that into my config file and then I just take the region that is US East one and I put it there in the config file. Now we have configured API gateway, we will go to Cognito and we will do a similar thing. We will go first to the user pools. You should have one user pool called like that and there you take the pool ID and you paste it there and then you go and do the same with the client ID and then you need to go to the federated identities and get the 
the identity pool ID. So from there you can get the identity pool ID, you copy paste it in there, and now your configuration is done. The next thing you need to do is to go to your index and add the amplified library, and then you need to call the config as well, require the config, and now you are able to get all these parameters to configure your Amplify. So first we will do the configure of the authentication, where we just do the region, the user pool ID, the identity pool ID, and the web uh, client ID that we are getting from this config, and we are doing the same for the API. So now our project is configured and we can run npm install and we can start it and we can see what is going on in our client. And now I will run npm start to start the service. So that will be in the localhost 3000. After this is started, we can see the web app working. When we open that, we will see that there is a test application and then there are two links on the top, sign up and login, and those are not working. So you can click them, but they will not do anything. The next thing we are going to do is to create a test user so we can log in with that user. So we run that command. For doing that, you need to have your AWS client installed in your terminal. To do that, I leave you the link on how to do that in the comment box below if you have not done it before. Basically there, we are just creating a new user in the client ID that we have put there, that is the same that we have created. The username is admin at example.com and the password is password. Very secure. When we press enter, the user is not confirmed, so we need to confirm it. And that's the user ID. So we go back to our AWS account, we go to users and groups, and we refresh the page. And there we will see that user that we just created and then we click on it and we can confirm it from this page. We can create the login page and try the login with this user. So I will not show you how to do this. You can go to the commit that is there because there is a lot of uh, JavaScript and client stuff here that it will take me forever to go over. So I will leave you the commit down there so you can check it out and also check out the tutorial where I got inspired to make this page. But basically I just putting the amplify in here and then I will call it in the submit. So basically we are using the auth.signin with the email and password and as simple as that we can log in. If you want to know how the amplify library works just go to the github repo. There is a lot of documentation there so you can see how the configuration is done that we have done some steps ago and then you can also see like how is to work with the API, you can sign in, you can sign up, and that's what we are doing. And there is many, many, many other things you can do. If we refresh this application, then we can see that now you can log in and it's logging in. For logout, we are calling also the auth.sign out and it just works. So now we have the login and the logout, and now we are creating the sign up page that is as simple as the login page. So I will create the sign up page. I will not show you how to do that. You can find it in the in the page. And then I will call up, pass the username and password, and voila. And then there is this confirmation submit where we need to confirm the email with a confirmation code that will be sent to our email. And then we are using the same auth.confirm sign up and then we can sign in with that user. So using this uh, Amplify library is very, very easy and straightforward. Now we can test. We go to the sign up page. We create a new user admin one. We put the same password that admin. <laughs> and then I sign up. And then I will get this confirmation code I want because this user is fake. But if you are using a real user, you will get the confirmation code and then you can um, put it there and confirm the user. I will confirm it from the user pool uh, dashboard and then I can log in with that user and voila. And I can log out. The next thing we are going to do is to call the secure API that we created when we created the backend. For that we are modifying the home file. You can find the commit in the description box where I have the code for this. But basically what we have here is uh, in the state we have the result of calling this API. When we load this page, we call this API. And basically the test API call method is very straightforward. It just does api.get and it calls the API that we configure in the 
in the index. So we need to name the API with the same name in the index and we haven't, so we are going to put the same exact name test API call in the index and in here. And then we can call that endpoint. And then this will just set the state to the result. And we will set the state of this uh, page when we to the message of the result. And then if we are not logging, we are just showing the, the basic test uh, web app. So there you have two different renders, the login render and the just basic render. But now we could try it. We log in and we can see that the authentication came and now we log out. This was the video for today. I hope you like it. If you did, give a big thumbs up. Now you have the two parts of Cognito, how to make the backend, how to make the frontend. And I hope that with these two parts, you can do a lot of amazing things. If you have any questions, comments, or whatever you want to say to me, just leave them in the box below. I always read them and try to make your wishes come true. Around here, as always, there are other videos from my channel for you to watch. And if you don't want to, I see you next week in another episode of Full Bar. Ciao!